Frank and Hope Hannum have quite a story to tell their uncle, and a blooming Manteca almond orchard was the perfect place to do it this afternoon. We went to, to China for the Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, and uh, we were going to spend a couple weeks with family there, and then towards the tail end, I was going to do a little bit of business. His wife's family lives in the countryside of Hubei province. On the 21st, uh, we woke up in the morning and the government had locked down the entire province. The roads were blocked by piles of dirt. There was no movement, uh, no trains, no planes, nothing, nothing was moving. We were there for two weeks in a small village um, with her family. There were 15 people there, about, yeah. about 15 people, uh, all in, in one house. We had vegetables, we had geese and ducks and chickens. and. <laughs> After two weeks, they heard that commercial airlines were shutting down. They also heard that the United States was flying citizens out. We worked with the local Chinese officials to get us permission to actually um, evacuate the village. And uh, they cleared the roadblocks for us and uh, we drove out and were able to drive to the airport and then, uh, of course, take the flight home. The process of getting on the plane and flying to the U.S. took a full day. When we landed at, at Travis, um, they, they disembarked the plane, uh, they did a roll call. We were checked out by the CDC, made sure that uh, we weren't running a, a, a temperature, didn't have a fever. They had food for us, they had um, uh, bus transportation to the hotel. It went very smoothly. And then two weeks in the hotel on the base where they say the hospitality made the stay bearable. The staff was not only very professional, they were very personable, very caring. Yeah. The Hannum said that the two weeks went by easier than they thought they would. We are just really grateful to the U.S. Yeah. government, right, for getting us out. They will fly home to Portland tomorrow and will be thrilled to see their family that have been waiting and watching for them. In Manteca, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.